Genetics and Inheritance Summary. Mendel's Laws. The law of segregation says that a gamete carries only one allele for each trait because allele pairs separate or segregate from each other during meiosis. Law of independent assortment. The alleles of two or more different genes get sorted into gametes independently of one another. Dominant and recessive alleles. If the two alleles of a pair are different, heterozygous, the one that determines the phenotype is the dominant allele. The next slide illustrates these principles. This diagram illustrates Mendel's laws. First, the law of segregation, where pairs of alleles are separated when gametes are formed. So we have two heterozygous pea plants, tall with purple flowers. Independent assortment is when pairs of alleles will be sorted independently of, an, uh, of one another when gametes are formed. So during meiosis, each gamete gets one copy of each gene, or is haploid. Then at fertilization, gametes combine to form zygotes with two copies of each gene. That's diploid. And the principle of dominance says that one allele, dot one allele that's dominant masks the effect of the other allele, which is recessive. So when we cross these, we end up with purple tall flowers, white tall flowers, purple short flowers, and white short flowers. Predicting the probable outcome. Punnett squares are used to predict the outcome of crosses. This is a monohybrid cross because the parent plants differ in only one trait, their height. Tall, capital T, is the dominant allele to short, lowercase t, which would be recessive. If you cross a homozygous tall, capital T, capital T, P plant, with a heterozygous tall P plant, so one allele for dominant, one allele for recessive, that would be heterozygous tall, 100% of the offspring will be tall. 50% of the genotypes are homozygous dominant. That would be these two, the tall, tall. And 50% would be heterozygous, where one allele is recessive, but is masked by the dominant one. But the phenotype expressed would be 100% tall. A dihybrid cross occurs when two parents differ in two characteristics. So in this case, we cross two parents of genotypes, green pods, yellow seeds, also known as peas. Green pods and yellow seeds are dominant. So this would be green and this would be yellow. The predicted genotypes and phenotypes are on the next slide. The Punnett square shows the predicted phenotypes. We end up with nine green pod yellow pea plants, three green pod green pea plants, three yellow pod yellow pea plants, and one yellow pod yellow uh, green pea right here uh, where we're homozygous recessive for both. The phenotype ratio is 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. Deviations from Mendelian genetics. Inheritance of characteristics from a single gene may deviate from simple Mendelian patterns when the gene has alleles that are not completely dominant or recessive, has more than two alleles, is subject to codominance, produces multiple phenotypes, is linked to another gene, is on a sex chromosome, and is in a mitochondrial or chloroplast DNA. Non-Mendelian inheritance. In incomplete dominance, the phenotype of F1 hybrids is somewhere between the phenotypes of the two parental varieties. So the parent generation, we have a homozygous dominant red and a homozygous recessive white flower and we cross them 
and we get this F1 generation that is heterozygous, but we have incomplete dominance where we end up with a phenotype between the red and the white with pink flowers. In codominance, two dominant alleles affect the phenotype in separate, distinguishable ways. One of the best examples of this is the ABO blood group phenotypes in humans. This involves a single gene with multiple alleles, specifically three alleles. These three alleles in different combinations produce four phenotypes. So if we're dominant, homozygous dominant for type A, or we have AO, that will end with type A blood. If we're homozygous dominant for type B or BO, that's type B blood. If, we're, if we have the allele for type A and type B, we end up with type AB blood. So we have codominance there of A and B. And then of course, recessive, fully recessive OO um, is type O blood. Polygenic inheritance is when a single characteristic may be influenced by more than one gene. Pleiotropy is a situation in which a single gene may affect many phenotypic characteristics. Epistasis is when the effect of a gene mutation is dependent on the presence or absence of mutations in one or more other genes. This will be shown on the next slide. Epistasis is when one gene, usually in a different locus or chromosome, and often sorting independent of another gene, exhibits overriding control over that gene. The albino gene overrides the production of melanin and results in no pigment being produced, no matter what the genotype would produce normally, known as albinism. Melanin is responsible for the various shades that humans come in. For humans, regardless of their race or ethnicity, if they possess this gene, they have white skin and hair and light colored eyes. Epistasis example. There are two basic alleles for Labrador coat colors, black, which is dominant, and brown or chocolate, which is recessive. There is a 25% probability of two heterozygous black Labradors having a brown puppy. However, there is a yellow epistatic gene which overrides the production of the black-brown phenotype and produces a yellow-coated Labrador. The yellow epistatic gene is recessive, so both yellow genes must be present to cancel the black-brown genes. So you can see that in the genotype here. This is both recessive for that epistatic gene. Would result in yellow regardless of what the black-brown genotype is. Non-Mendelian inheritance. The sex chromosomes have genes for many characteristics unrelated to sex. For example, the eye color of a fruit fly is located on the X chromosome, as shown below. A gene located on either sex chromosome is called a sex-linked gene. Sex-linked genes follow specific patterns of inheritance. Many sex-linked disorders are located on the X chromosome. So this is an example for hemophilia. In this case, hemophilia is recessive and carried on the X chromosome. So in this case, this mother is a carrier for hemophilia. She um, has the dominant allele as well, but she carries the recessive trait. If we cross that with an unaffected father, so we have the dominant allele on his X chromosome, we see that one of the offspring will be a male, XY, and have the recessive allele leading to hemophilia. So in 25% of the cases, if you have a carrier, that is the mother, and an unaffected father, 
you will end up with a hemophiliac male. Um, just to point out here, these two individuals would be unaffected. And this would be, again, a female XX and a carrier because she carries that recessive trait for hemophilia. Both chloroplasts and mitochondria have their own DNA, separate from that found in the nucleus of the cell. They also have a double cell membrane. Since mitochondrial DNA is not in the nucleus, it is only passed along from mother to child. All animals, including humans, inherit mitochondria from their mothers only. Mitochondrial DNA is inherited because the egg from our mothers contained her organelles. Sperm only contains the chromosomes, rarely organelles, so mitochondrial DNA is not passed down. Mitochondrial DNA is a way to trace maternal heritage through a family or through a species. The mitochondrial Eve is the first human female that gave rise to all humans. In theory, all humans can be traced back to her through our mitochondrial DNA. Linkage. We can see if two genes are linked and how tightly by using data from genetic crosses to calculate the recombination frequency. Linkage maps can be created that show the order and relative distances of the genes on the chromosome by using recombination frequencies for many gene pairs. Changes in chromosome numbers. Non-disjunction is the failure of chromosome pairs to separate, either during meiosis I or meiosis II. Fertilization of an egg resulting from non-disjunction with a normal sperm results in a zygote with an abnormal chromosome number. There are two main types of alterations. Aneuploidy is the presence of an abnormal number of chromosomes in a cell, and polyploidy is having more than two complete sets of chromosomes. Trisomy 21 is the most common chromosome number abnormality with three copies of chromosome 21, which you can see here. It occurs in one out of 700 births. Incidence of Down syndrome increases with age of either parent. Down syndrome, the common name for trisomy 21, includes a wide variety of physical, mental, and disease susceptibility features. Sometimes there can be breakage of a chromosome. It can produce a variety of arrangements. These arrangements affect the genes of that chromosome. Possible changes to a chromosome include deletions, inversions, insertions, duplications, or translocations. These changes are illustrated on the following slide and were discussed in more detail in the Central Dogma Summary. All right, so here are some different changes in chromosome structure. If I have this chromosome A, B, C, D, E, F, inversion has one portion flipped. So we have instead of A, B, C, D, E, F, this piece has been inverted. So A, B, E, D, C, F. Duplication, we've duplicated this section D here. Deletion is the removal of a piece, so we've removed C. Insertion, we've inserted this piece L. And translocation, so you can see that on one side we have all these capital A through F. And on the other side, we have L, M, N, O, P, Q. And the translocation is where one piece has broken off of one gene and reattached on the other. So now we have A, B, C, O, P, Q, and L, M, N, D, E, F. Common genetic disorders. Common genetic disorders include the following. Kleinfelter syndrome, X, X, Y. The extra X chromosome produces symptoms in a male that include reduced muscle mass, reduced body and facial hair, and lower production of testosterone. It may not be diagnosed until adulthood. Turner syndrome, XO. A female 
born with one of the X chromosomes missing or defective. Developmental and medical problems include short height, heart defects, and failure to develop ovaries. Albinism, recessively inherited disorder in which there is a lack of pigmentation in the skin. Cystic fibrosis, CF, involves excessive secretion of a very thick mucus from the lungs, pancreas, and other organs. Tay-Sachs is caused by genetic changes in what's known as the HEXA gene, and inheritance is autosomal recessive. Sickle cell anemia is a genetic disorder where the body produces an abnormal type of hemoglobin called hemoglobin S. Sickle cell is also an autosomal recessive disorder. So remember, an autosome is a chromosome that's not a sex chromosome. So it comes from a non-sex chromosome, and you have to get the recessive allele from both parents in order to express the genetic disorder. Eukaryotic sources of genetic variation. Mutations. A mutation is a permanent change of the DNA sequence of a gene. Mutations in a gene's DNA sequence can alter the amino acid sequence of the protein encoded by the gene. Sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction has the potential to produce tremendous genetic variation in offspring. This variation is due to independent assortment and crossing over during meiosis and random union of gametes during fertilization. Eukaryotic sources of genetic variation. Crossing over. Crossing over occurs during prophase one. Genetic material is exchanged by the homologous chromosomes at the chiasma. Crossing over increases the genetic variation of the offspring, since this can occur several times at variable locations in each tetrad, the variation that can occur between two parents is extremely large. Prokaryotic sources of genetic variation. Mutation and genetic recombination are sources of genetic variation for bacterial cells. Since bacteria can reproduce rapidly, new mutations quickly increase genetic diversity. More genetic diversity arises by recombination of DNA from two different bacterial cells. Genetic recombination. Transformation is the alteration of a prokaryotic cell's genes by the uptake of foreign DNA from the surrounding environment. Conjugation is the direct transfer of genetic material or plasmids between prokaryotic cells that are temporarily joined. Transduction is the process by which DNA is transferred from one prokaryote to another by a virus. These mechanisms of gene transfer and genetic recombination in prokaryotes lead to a great diversity.